Thank you very much. It's great being here. So take a minute to remember what we were doing in May 2008. We were in the midst of what we thought was the greatest global recession in our lifetimes. So in that year, in May 2008, The Economist titled this front page, What Next? And it was hard to imagine then that what next meant independence movement in Western Europe, like Catalonia, Scotland, that it meant Brexit, so one of the founding members of the European Union leaving the European Union, and it meant a global pandemic that has changed how we think, how we operate, how we communicate with one another. So when we look at the data, we see an, an unprecedented surge of the investment. So companies leaving one country and going to another country and a fall in global foreign direct investment. So in order to make sense of this data, of, new, of these new deglobalizing forces, we propose new and exciting research. One that has a new focus that is multidimensional, not only focusing on trade, but also on investment, on migration. One research that asks new questions. So what are the determinants? What is the role of institutions? Are the incentives the same? And most importantly, what is the role for welfare and human development? We need to build new models that are dynamic, that deliver tractable equations in order to estimate not only trade, but movement of capital and people. A research that uses new data in order to assess empirically these questions which is global, multi-country, and multi-sector. And most important, to be able to deliver new policies. For example, divestment management, or how to handle divestment and the new migration policies. Thank you very much.